under the International Bridge in Del Rio in Texas, a camp that's become home to thousands and which reveals yet another crisis at the border in America. They cross the Rio Grande River that forms the border between the US and Mexico, most of them Haitians, willing to take the chance that they will be processed and allowed in, willing to tolerate what's been described as a squalid existence here. There is not enough food to give to everybody who's inside there. We need to get out of the camp to look for food. Things are worse. It is these pictures of border patrol agents on horseback pushing migrants into the river that have caused so much anger. For some, they carry the echoes of the worst chapters of American history. What we witness takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reins again whipping black people, Haitians, into the water. The U.S. has already removed thousands from the camp. Large numbers flown back to Haiti, a country many of them left after the earthquake a decade ago and now consumed by violence and poverty. These chaotic scenes prompting the resignation of the U.S. Special Envoy. I will not be associated with the United States' inhumane, counterproductive decision to deport thousands of Haitian refugees, Daniel Foote wrote to the Secretary of State. Our policy approach to Haiti remains deeply flawed. And it is a crisis the president has so far not addressed. We could not see it as any more different from the policy of the prior administration, which the president feels, we all feel, was inhumane, immoral, ineffective, uh, not operationally, wasn't operationally working. In Texas, the river crossings have been stopped for now and the authorities say the camp will be empty within days. But the flow of those trying to reach America, it seems, can't be stopped. The only question is where and when this will happen again. Greg Milam, Sky News.